Hello, everybody. <laughs> Truth Seeker 333 here. Uh, on my way to work, looks like uh, there was a car accident on the 405 again. Big surprise. Um, so, I just got through listening to Deep South Homestead talk about work and, you know, the value of work. And it got me thinking a lot about, you know, my own goals and, and uh, Lauren and I, our goals that, that we have, you know, of course, we do want to be self-sufficient. And of course, the other thing is we've really been seeking and praying about uh, getting out of California, getting out of Southern California and getting into an area that where we can be self-sufficient, um, you know, and, and, and actually, you know, start to grow our own food more. And, and, uh, and I know a lot of us, a lot of us have this desire to do this. Uh, but, you know, we just keep pushing forward, you know, pushing forward. And then there's all these variables that come into play, you know, about your family and who's going to take care of who. And, and you know, not all your family is going to move with you and, and so on and so forth. But, um, oh, there's the accident up there. Ugh. Yeah, so... Uh, it just seems like, you know, uh, I have to find value where I'm at, you know. I can't just keep looking at this, you know, as a drudgery every day. You know, we are making our way to work, uh, driving through uh, tragic accidents. Um, looks like it just opened up. At any rate, um, yeah, so I've been thinking a lot about um, this whole thing. I, I follow all the conspiracy theories online, and I, uh, I don't necessarily, you know, believe in everything I watch, but I do find value in, in following all of the videos in regard to... Um, the truther movement, you know, and, and so, uh, so one of the things I noticed lately is, uh, Richie from Boston, his channel got canceled, and I watched some of his videos on his Richie from Boston 2 channel, and he was talking about how he was a targeted individual. Well, that's interesting, you know, I, I don't know, um, whether to verify it or not, but, in my own head, I, I thought about, you know, the fact that spiritually, yeah, we are all targeted spiritually, um, you know, by the enemy. And the thing is, is whether that extends out into the physical realm through agents of darkness, you know, I could call it, uh, is sort of a moot point, I think, because if we really are you know, true to our faith, if we really are following after the light, then we need to understand that we will be uh, targets of darkness from the dark. We will be targets from the darkness, from the dark side. And, and so what it got me thinking about was the fact that we really need to be more vigilant. You know, we really need to be more focused in the fact that I know what everybody's thinking. You know, it's like uh, they're thinking, oh, don't focus on the darkness, focus on the light. And I would agree with that. I would say, uh, you know, because in, in a lot of, uh, in a lot of circles, like especially back, back east and, and down south, when you start talking about the enemy or you start talking about the devil or Satan, uh, people don't want to talk about it. They'll walk out of the room uh, or, you know, just, you don't talk about such things, just uh, focus on the good things, uh, which I, 
to a degree, I, I do believe that way, but I am also starting to realize that we do need to realize that we can't always be on the defensive. You know, we can't always be on the defensive. You know, a, a little part of our attitude during the day needs to be uh, more focused on the offensive, you know, uh, you know, and, 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 uh, and seeking and asking uh, the Lord, you know, questions in regard to what are we supposed to do today? What are we supposed to do tomorrow? Because if we're not doing this on a regular basis, we're going to lose our focus and we're just going to fall in with all the other sheeple and uh, continue to, you know, be numbed in our minds and our, and, and uh, you know, just fall into the drudgery, you know. Uh, so if you, we need to like pull ourselves out of that, you know, because we got life to live and, you know, there's things going on. People are suffering. Uh, we're all suffering. People are, are dying. They're passing away. They're going to the Lord. You know, our families, we're all trying to like, you know, lift everybody up, lift everybody's spirits up, give them meaning, give them something to hope for. Um, you know, the best thing that you can do is, you know, find that meaning for yourself. You know, don't worry too much about giving everybody else meaning, but uh, that just sort of comes as a natural result. People start finding hope because, you know, you need to like, you can't just be the hope for somebody else. You have to like train people up so that they can be a hope, so that they can find the hope in life that they need. So, so uh, in any way, you know, this whole thing about uh, being targeted, um, we have to come to realize that everything that when we set our goal on a good thing, like let's say being self-sufficient and uh, trying to get out of debt or, you know, or focusing upon the Lord more. And as soon as we do that, uh, we have to realize that, you know, spiritually the agents of darkness around us are going to be against that, okay? Uh, we see that theme being played out. Um, even in the Dead Sea Scrolls, we see a whole thing about the sons of light and the sons of darkness. But um, the whole thing is, is that essentially what I'm saying is this. We need to pray more. Uh, we need to be more focused. We need to continue to meditate in, upon our goals and those things which are righteous and lofty. If we're going through tragedy, if we're going through a life event, uh, even more so we need to continue to find a way to bring ourselves back out of that, to find strength in the Lord. Um, you know, sometimes we get hit with a life event and that the enemy will take that life event and bring you down. Uh, the Lord just wants you to look to him, you know, to find strength in him. And, um, you know, but the enemy is going to try to make your uh, life events uh, a reason to... Uh, fall behind, to fall in line, to, to fall back into drudgery. Don't do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, these are my thoughts today. God bless everyone. God bless you. Keep seeking truth. Amen.